What's your name? Zoe. Zoe? Are you Zoe? Yeah. How old are you? I'm Zoe. You're Zoe. And how old are you? Three. You're three. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my three-year-old Zoe. She just turned three this past August and we are going to do a little bit of school with her. I'm going to show you guys what I do to work with her. Um, as I had said before in my last video, I bought a bunch of curriculum for her. <laughs> I had bought a bunch of curriculum for her and there are a few things that are really working well for her and I will share those with you as well as <laughs> take you along with us during a little sit down session with her so stay tuned. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. ABCs. Yeah, we're gonna do ABCs. Just one second, okay? Um, please consider subscribing. Click on that notification bell so you're notified every time I have a new video. I will also be sharing this amazing box. It's my pre-K box. I will share more about that toward the end of the video. I'm sure she's going to be super excited to unbox this amazing box specially created for preschoolers. So, are you ready to do some school? Yeah. Yeah? High five? Okay, let's get to it, right? So this is a, my first resource that I highly, highly recommend for schoolers. And I do wanna oh say too, God, Zoe just turned three. Usually three-year-olds don't like to sit down to do school, quote unquote, um, sitting at a desk, sitting mm -hmm. at a table. So I try to fit in learning wherever I can. And she's only really, really willing to do school because she sees her older siblings doing it and she's a very willing learner. But you should definitely gauge your own child in it. So if your child isn't wanting to sit down like this to work on letters or anything like that, don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. Uh, it's totally natural and normal for that age. So this book has the letters. It also has like a way that they can trace it. It's like grooved so that they can trace it. Yeah, and then it's got pictures that start with that letter. So we're gonna go through these letters and I just use this to um, ask her what the letter is and then we're going to work on letter sounds as well. She has been learning phonetically thanks to Leapfrog Letter Factory. This DVD has been amazing for me throughout all the years with all of my kids. And oh, Zoe, I want ABC. Yes. And Zoe loves, loves, loves the Leapfrog Letter Factory. All right, so let's go through all of our letters, okay? What is this? A. And what does an A say? A says A. Good job. What is this? A B says B. Great job. C says K. D says K. E is eh. eh. The E says eh, huh? F says. Good job. A G says good. A H says. A I says eh. Another thing that Zoe has loved doing to practice her ABCs is this dinosaur ABD, ABC dot marker activity book. Yeah. As you can see, she loves this. So we are going to go yeah. ahead and do a little bit. Do you want to do S? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I also use this activity to help enforce she this her colors. And and what is that? It's in the purple. It's purple. Okay. We're 
we're gonna work on some numbers now and this is from the same people that make the ABC book. So it's just numbers now. What number is that? Two? No. This is one. Can you say one? Zoe. What? <laughs> Stop the way. Can you say one? And then two. Three. What color is that? It's yellow. Yellow. So can we count three yellow blocks? Well, we got one. Can you get another yellow block? Wait, is that yellow? That's not yellow. Let's get another yellow one. Can we get some more yellow ones? Two. Three. We have three yellow blocks now. Look at that. One, two, three. Can you count them? Good job. And now green. Okay. So that's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go with the counting with her um, because now she just wants to play with the blocks and that's completely fine. I don't, I don't press anything that she doesn't wanna do. I always want learning to be fun for her because it's very play-based right now. So as long as it's fun for her, then we'll keep going along with it. Mm. Good job, high five. All right, can we pick these all up and put them back now? Can we do that? Put them back in the box. And these are old math manipulatives from the old Math K uh, from the Good and Beautiful. <laughs> I'm just reusing them for this. All right, are you ready to unbox our pre-K box? This is a monthly subscription box geared toward pre-Kers. So each, any ages from three to five, this box like would be perfect it. for you. Absolutely. My friend Lindsay reached out to me and sent us one to try and unbox for you guys so you could see what all is inside. She is herself a stay-at-home mom of four and she has her education degree. So these are really high quality educational activities for your pre k -er. So we are going to go ahead and unbox it right now. Yeah. All right, let's see what's in it. Wanna try opening it? Yeah. <gasps> what is this? Look. Look at these. Hold on. The farm box. Oh, this is great. So this shows everything that is inside so this amazing. box. <gasps> it's so amazing. Cow puppet crafts. How cute. Oh, those are adorable. Oh. Shear your sheep. This is so cute. What is this? Oh, it looks like you can make your own farm animals. We can hatch a chick. Ooh, should we do that? Should we hatch a chick? How stinking cute are these? No, Phil, I wish I would have got that when I was in kid. Oh, what are these? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. How do you hatch a chick? I love it. I think what we are going to do is we are going to hatch a chick. So we are going, I think we're going to go outside for this. Place the egg in a bowl of water to soften, then use the chisel tool to break the egg until the chick hatches. The eggshell can be used as sidewalk chalk once the chick is hatched. So we are going to go outside to do this, okay? There's so many fun things, and this is Lindsay and her sweet family. So definitely check out my pre-K box. We are going to go ahead and go outside and do, hatch a chick right now.
Okay, now we are going to put together a little cow craft. A new these. Yeah, and this is going to be a cow. Are we excited? What is that? A cow? Moo. Is it saying moo? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. This My Pre-K box is awesome for littles. Like Zoe it? and I really enjoyed it. We still have more crafts to do, so we are going to go ahead and do some more of these this tomorrow. Is so cute. Look at that. Is that a chick? We have little games and stuff we get to play, so I'm looking forward to exploring this box, box further. I will definitely leave a link down below as well as a coupon code if you are interested in your own My Pre-K box. This is basically how I work with Zoe every day. Not every day looks the same. Some days she has um, a longer attention span and other days she doesn't and that's just fine. There are some days where we don't do much of anything except Chippy. read books. A chicken except read books and um, that's okay too I had bought curriculum for her to use this year but we have not whipped it out yet so I think we're just going to keep doing this kind of school light with her for the time being until moving on to most likely the good and the beautiful pre-k so I just ordered that uh, new edition of that, so that will be coming in the mail, so I'm excited to get that soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment down below. I love getting to know you, and I will talk to you guys soon. You want to say goodbye, Zoe? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You look so beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be yours